Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a medication known as clotrimazole. Its brand name is Canestin. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, during this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would give this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to give clotrimazole to a patient. Then discuss some examples of dosing and then finish it off with side effects. I put together some slides to go over this information. Let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So clotrimazole acts primarily by damaging the permeability barrier in the cell membrane of fungi. It causes inhibition of ergosterol biosynthesis and an essential constitution uh, of fungal cell membranes. Also, it inhibits biosynthesis of triglycerides and phospholipids by fungi. In terms of indications or reasons we would give clotrimazole to a patient, well, we may see it used in the treatment of candidal vulvovaginitis, as well as patients with topical candidiasis may use this medication, or patients who have oropharyngeal candidiasis. Patients with pityriasis versicolor, which would be a common yeast infection of the skin, in which flaky discolored patches appear on the chest and back, would also use clotrimazole. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to give clotrimazole to a patient, we just wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to clotrimazole or to any other component of the product. Now for some examples of dosing with clotrimazole. So in the treatment of candidal vulvovaginitis, when it's recurrent, we may see 500 milligrams of a vaginal suppository inserted intravaginally once weekly, or we may see 200 milligrams of the vaginal tablet intravaginally twice weekly for at least six months. In pityriasis versicolor, patients may apply a thin layer of the 1% cream twice daily for up to four weeks. For candidal vulvovaginitis that is external, patients may, may use the 1% external cream and apply a small amount of the cream to the itchy, irritated skin outside the vagina twice daily for up to seven days. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using clotrimazole, and those two side effects in this case would be nausea or potentially vomiting, but I think they're pretty rare with this medication, especially when it's used externally. So when this medication is used intravaginally, you may see these side effects more often. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with clotrimazole or canestin. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.